Good morning, folks. Here's the last 24 hours on our star. Major eruptions are absent, and our eyes are drawn to that dark, earth-facing coronal hole. The only flare was a goodbye kiss from those big sunspots as they departed. Coming to spaceweathernews.com, we find that lone M flare that we just saw in blue, but with flaring on the decline in general. The sunspot situation is far less proliferative of solar flaring than it was a week ago. The only group facing Earth is still magnetically split left to right. The top space weather story right now is in the solar wind. The speed and temperature are on the rise after a dropout in density, which looks a lot like a coronal hole stream from the departing northern opening. A minor geomagnetic storm has begun, and we are watching magnetic pulsations build in our system over the last four days. It's the red at the bottom. The earthquake watch mentioned yesterday isn't canceled, but it's taking cuts to the budget. The power that jumped to the equatorial coronal hole yesterday has disappeared in favor of southern areas, so we've lost a good deal of our quake-making power on the sun. But we're also losing quake potential at Earth as energy disruption remains confined to the atmosphere with Joaquin a monster in the Atlantic and multiple storms cropping up in the Pacific. That's Uyen storm formation due to the heliospheric disruption from those huge CMEs that luckily will miss direct Earth impact. So while we may yet get a little uptick in quake, it will not be what it could have been. Cool article today on spaceweather.com about a water-based lava eruption on Charon. Scientists believe that an underground ocean may have frozen, creating a major cryovolcanic situation that literally broke open Pluto's largest moon. Other top link today is to an SVS animation of the Earth monitoring constellation of satellites, description and satellite info on that page. Website members, yesterday's episode of Fly on the Wall ended up being 80 minutes long because Xavier and Billy made me turn the recorder back on after I thought we were done. We discussed the kill shot solar CMEs that missed Earth and what would have happened if they had hit. We update a number of our ongoing topics of interest and we discussed the coming conference, but not what will be discussed at the conference, the significance of the date we chose to begin it all and where you fit in the big picture. We're at the new wind map for the United States. Wind, then pressure, then radar and clouds, just like we saw for Joaquin yesterday. But now also, we're making sure we see that shear off Marty in the eastern Pacific coming to the western U.S. East Coast, good luck today with the wind, rain, and storm surges. We're at the new wind map for our other top viewer locations as well, then back to the old one for the current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 6 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.